Hi, I'm Joe DiGiulio with another quick lesson. Today we're going to be talking about Matisse's impasto medium. The medium is actually incorporated with the color, in this case we're using structures Australian Sienna, to create textural effects on the work. I've made a little sample beforehand because I wanted you to see what the impasto medium looked like without any color added to it. Now in the middle section here, we've actually had just a wash of the Australian Sienna. But what I want you to notice is that when we mix the two together, we get this beautiful, rich, textured effect that you can get by using the impasto medium. Impasto, what does it imply? Paste. Think about toothpaste. That's the kind of consistency you're going to get with this. The impasto medium, I'll take this and I'll use it in one of two ways. Either I can take the medium along with the paint, I can mix it 50-50 using your palette knife. In this case, I've got my handy creative mark palette knife here. And the whole point is to be able to create peaks. Now, generally, I would say there is two kinds of Matisse paint, either the structure formula or the flow formula. The impasto can be used with either, but I would generally go ahead with the structure because it already has that kind of paint body in the film already. See, I can take this and you'll see how it looks like when it's applied wet, but it darkens down after it dries. But I want you to know there's not a whole lot of color shifting between the dried paint and the dried paint mixed with the impasto medium. It's very simply a way to actually texture your canvas. And if I want to stretch it out, the important point is that I can use a palette knife, get some ridges. I can kind of pop it up. You can kind of see the hills it creates. I can use interesting things like, I don't know, chicken wire, burlap that I can actually press in and remove. Those are going to create some fields of color that has a textural pattern to it that records whatever kind of item I use to press in there. I've seen people actually take uh, leaves that you would have in a, uh, they've gotten out of the yard and actually press the leaf in there and record the image of the leaf in the, into the medium. Very interesting things, leaves, numbers, you can kind of incorporate it in however you want. It's just a thick, rich, but you see that it holds peaks. Now the thing about it is, not only can I do that, important thing, I can get some interesting effects with it if I use a paint film that is a translucent paint instead of an opaque paint. Now translucent means clear. It has a see-through effect where an opaque paint is it's solid. You cannot see through it. I'll use this, and you can always check on Matisse, uh, dot com dot au to find out some more technical information from Matisse on which of their mediums or which of their paints are uh, uh, transparent and which ones are opaque. But the important, important thing, add a little bit of water, not too much, no more than 20 percent or you're going to break the adhesion properties of the paint down. But I get this beautiful range of color from this dark rich to this almost beautiful lemon but the point I wanted to bring out is that now I can go and do a beautiful little glaze over the top. Mm, actually, you might have seen some of this before in some faux finish effects. But because I'm using a transparent paint film right now instead of an opaque one, the pigment is going to fall into those areas where I have the valleys at and the peaks it will be removed. So I can actually have a lot of different effects using the impasto medium from a solid to, I don't know how else to say it, but maybe painting a veneer over the top. Add a little bit of water to extend it, but you can really see some beautiful effects that you can get with this. Very simply, anybody can do it. It's not rocket science. Don't be afraid to attempt this. In fact, experiment. You'll find different kinds of combinations with different colors, different mediums. I could let that dry right now. I could come back with another color on top, say a Sienna, an Australian uh, 
lemon yellow, something like that. Use one of these colors to make an exciting glaze combination over the top of your texture effects. So there you have it. It's not rocket science. When I want textured effects, I can either mix it with color to extend the paint, or I can put it down first and paint a veneer over the top of it. It's a great thing that you can do with the Derivan's medium number two, or MM number two as we kind of talk about, and pasto medium. Thanks for stopping by and checking out my quick lesson. I'm Joe DiGiulio. You can get all of these products at jerryzautorama.com. Check online.